Video ideas. Video ideas. Video ideas. Come on, video ideas. If you make it, they will watch. What? If you make it, they will watch. What? No, what am I supposed to build? A drink holster. Oh! Hey, that's a good idea. We'll go get started. This YouTube channel is cross-supported with Solid State Radio. SolidStateRadio.net, your local alternative. So this is a pretty simple project. Um, first off, you need a belt about 40 inches long, which is about a size 40. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Okay. And take your box cutter. You want to cut off the loop, or well, the buckle. It might take you a couple of times scoring this, but just be patient and keep your fingers out of the way. Because you can always get another belt, you can always get another finger. Alright, now we're going to take our measuring device and we're going to measure out 19 and a half inches. This will be the main body of this holster, as I like to call it. So, make a mark about right here. That'll work. Same thing. Now, if you're off a little bit, that's fine. Just don't be off too much, because, yeah, you get it. Okay. Now if you need to, you can always take a torch and just cinch the edges off. And yes, it does smell like burnt hair. Okay, put that piece aside and this smaller piece, you're going to need two sections nine inches long. So. Ooh, just about there. So you can either cut one in first and then cut that piece in half, or you can just do nine and nine, however you want. However is easier on you. So that's nine. And that's about nine. Alright. I'll be back after I get these cut, because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me cutting for another three, four minutes. Have your pieces cut. I'm gonna go ahead and lay a water bottle down about where it needs to go. Which is actually gonna go this way. Yeah, that'll work great. You actually want to leave yourself some room on your belt piece to make a loop so it actually fit through your belt too. So decide which end you want to do that. I'm actually going to use this end because I have the other end marked for the bands. So it's going to go over like that. And go ahead and put your first band all the way at the bottom. And you'll see why, because when you, don't worry about it being at the bottom, what it does is, when you curl it up, you can actually see where I'm going with this, and it makes like a pocket. And that looks about good, and you put the second one down here as well. So, that should work pretty well. Alright, now that I have my measurements per se, let's go ahead and get gluing. I'm using Gorilla Super Glue. Uh, this works better when it's not like 30 degrees in your workshop. So just spread it liberally. You don't have a lot of time to work with this, so don't set it, then 
walk away from it because that's not exactly the best thing to do. And just take your p other piece of leather and just pretty much just eyeball it. You should be okay there. And you can take your clamps and just clamp it. You don't have to use a whole bunch of like fancy schmancy clamps or anything, just enough to keep it from moving. And go ahead and look for your second marking, which is right here. And at any time, if you're wondering, oh, am I putting this in the right spot? All you got to do is put your water bottle back down and be like, oh, okay, that's where I need it. So we're good. Okay, right about there. Same thing, just put a whole bunch of Gorilla Glue or Super Glue or your type of adhesive of choice. And let it set. Once again, getting get about in the middle. Cool. You want to try and get this as straight as possible. And cool. Once again, if you need to, you can see how it how it's gonna go. That's looking pretty decent. All right. So you want to let this dry for 24 hours. So let's come back in 24 hours. Now that we got it all glued up for the first part, let's go ahead and glue the rest of it. This is going to take a little bit of finessing, but it's all right. What you want to do is make sure that you figure out whereabouts you want it, the fold over, so you can fold your two pieces together. Make sure that it's wide enough for your belt to go through, or you might have to get like a smaller belt. So it looks pretty decent there. Okay, make a mark just so you can line it up. And because we're going to be wrapping this around, you'll want to put glue on the outside of this or just on the belt where it's going to go in. It's always a good idea to test fit before you glue it down because obviously once the glue sets you can't move it. I guess that's the whole point of glue isn't it? So, alright, that looks good there. And glue it there. And when you get all your glue in it you clamp it down and wait for it to dry and you're good to go. You can use it. Here's the finished project. I should have measured twice and glued once, but you know, life happens. That's it for today's video, guys. If you liked what you see, be sure to leave us a like. If you want to see more of this, click subscribe. That'd be awesome. In between videos, you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and we do have an Etsy store if you feel like supporting us that way. Let us know what you'd like to see in these videos, or if you have any ideas, comments, questions, concerns, anything we would love to hear from you honestly so until next time keep making cool things